On the posterior side here, you can see the end of the lumbar region. This is the sacrum as we move all the way down. And what we start to get into really are three separate structures that you see here with three different functions. So this is the rectum. This is the external anal sphincter muscle. Obviously this is involved in the process of defecation. As we move anterior, this structure here is the uterus. In fact, there's the body of the uterus. There's also the fundus of the uterus. That's this dome structure up front here. And this obviously is involved in the process of reproduction. Then we get to the urinary bladder itself. In fact, you can see the ureter from the right-hand side here coming down. You can imagine the kidney up here and bringing that urine all the way down the ureter to the urinary bladder. And this would be the ureter coming from the left side as well. This has been cut right there. But this is during the this is obviously involved in the process of urination. So from anterior to posterior, we have urination, we have reproduction, we have defecation. One, two, three. Urination, reproduction, defecation, which is why when I open this up, you'll see one, two, three separate lines coming down. Uh, from the anterior side here as well, you can also see the clitoris. There's an area here, it's sort of a fat pad called the mons pubis. And then up here, you can also see the round ligament. I'm gonna remove this side of the model. So these structures are a little bit easier to see internally because it's more of a mid-sagittal view. This is just a mirror image of the other side. But what happens here is it actually makes it pretty easy to follow the pathway of reproductive cells as they move through. And I wanna start right here at the ovary. So when the ovary releases egg cells, they get picked up by the fimbrae. The fimbrae, these little pink hair-like structures that I'm pointing at here, are part of the uterine tube. You may have heard the term fallopian tube. Uterine tube, same thing, that's this pink structure that I'm pointing at here. So egg cells are going to travel all the way down, and an egg cell will come all the way to the uterus itself and implant itself on this inner layer right here. This is called the endometrium. In fact, when we look at the uterus itself, there are three layers. From deep to superficial, it is endometrium, myometrium, perimetrium. Endo, like inside, peri, like around. Myo is that middle layer there. So perimetrium, myometrium, endometrium. And it implants itself and waits for fertilization. If fertilization does not happen, you've probably heard of this endometrial lining, right? Because that's what sheds during the process of menstruation, right? And this is where this inner lining exits all the way out the vagina. In fact, that exiting point there is called the introitus. That's the vaginal opening. Uh, I mentioned that this is the fundus of the uterus. This is the body of the uterus. This region right here is called the cervix. And the opening right here is called the os. Uh, this is where a fetus would develop um, if, if fertilization took place successfully. This is the vagina itself. And like I said before, this is the introitus or the vaginal opening. Let me back up for just a minute here. This would be the process, like I said, of defecation. So as we exit here, you can see the internal anal sphincter muscle. You can see the external anal sphincter muscle. And of course, this is the anus. So defecation, reproduction, and urination. This is the urinary bladder. This is the urethra that leads out. And when urine travels out, it passes obviously past the labium minus. I'm just showing you one side. So that's the singular term, labium minus. Labium minora would be plural. And the labium magus. Again, both sides would be considered the labia majora. So minus, meaning small. Magus, like major, meaning large. Labium means lips. So there's an internal layer and an external layer. Uh, the clitoris is here as well. 
This is the pubic symphysis, and again, you can still see the mons pubis. Uh, one last sort of structure region right here, the area between the anus and the vaginal opening is the perineum. So again, from anterior to posterior, three separate processes, urination, reproduction, and defecation.